Welcome to Jerez de la Frontera, the city of sunshine, sherry wine, and flamenco. Vamos! Welcome to another video. In this episode, we are going to Jerez in Spain, and I will show you the top 7 things to see and do in Jerez. This episode is available in 4K 60fps. Jerez is a beautiful city in the south of Spain, belonging to the Andalusia region. It's around 90 kilometers south of Seville. Jerez is renowned for its rich cultural heritage and world-class cherry wine production. The city's historic charm is evident in its well-preserved medieval architecture, including the impressive Alcazar Fortress and the Gothic-style cathedral. Jerez is also a hub for flamenco music and dance, fascinating visitors with passionate performances. The city's horseback tradition shines through the Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian Art, where visitors witness skillful horsemanship. Beyond its cultural charm, Jerez is at the heart of the Cherry Triangle, producing the globally acclaimed Jerez Cherry Wine. Jerez blends tradition, history and gastronomy, making it a great destination to visit. On an early Thursday morning in February, we took off from Barcelona to Jerez. Jerez has its own airport, but limited departures per day. Seville is a good option if you can't find a direct flight to Jerez. We will go straight to the first thing to do in Jerez, which is to visit a local tabanco for tapas. We chose Tabanco Plateros, which had really good reviews online. The menu was rich. We tried some local tapas and wine. Smoked tuna, payoyo cheese, stuffed mini peppers and almonds are all local and delicious. A local guitarist dropped by for a traditional performance. The bill came to 22 euros, very affordable for high quality tapas. Next up, and as number two on our list, is the Alcazar of Jerez. The Alcazar is a historic fortress in the heart of Jerez. Dating back to the 11th century, it's a former Moorish Alcazar featuring intricate Islamic architecture, stunning gardens and towering walls that whisper tales of bygone eras. Once a resident for Muslim rulers, it later underwent Christian modifications, blending the styles seamlessly. You can climb the octagonal tower, which is constructed in Almohad style. From the top you'll have a great view over the Alcazar and the city of Jerez. There is plenty of things to see at the Alcazar, including ancient architecture, an olive press and an old mosque. Strolling around the mosque, was this incredible peacock. What a proud bird. You can also enter the magnificent Baroque Palace known as the Villa Vicencio Palace. 
full of impressive rooms and details. On the top floor you'll find this old pharmacy. We're moving on to the number 3 spot on our list. It's a visit to the Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian Art. It's part of the Big Four, the most prestigious classical riding academies in the world. Ticket starts from 8 euros for a short tour, but to see the stables and tack room you need to go for the full tour which costs 13 euros. Unfortunately we were not allowed to film in the stables and tack room, but it was well worth the extra 5 euros. The surroundings are beautiful. As it's an active academy, you will see plenty of action. The horses here are purebred Spanish horses, famous for their energetic temperament, good reactions and responses, and adequate for all forms of dressage. You can also visit the indoor arena, which has 1600 seats. Here you can see the horse shows, but there was nothing on when we were there. We go into the main house for a short tour. We're back in the city center and as number 4 on our list is the Jerez Central Food Market, known as Mercado Central de Abastos. The building is neoclassical in style and was completed in 1885. It's divided into three main areas, meat, fish and fruit and vegetables. The market has four cold rooms in the basement where the merchant's perishable products can be preserved. Remember, it's not a museum, so buy something to support the local sellers. We bought some tasty local payoyo cheese to bring home. Outside the market is Plaza de Abastos, where more food stalls are present. As number 5 on our list is Tio Pepe Winery. It's located next to the Cathedral of Jerez and offers tours in Spanish, English and German. We went for the Spanish tour and the tickets were 21 euros each, including a tasting of two different cherry wines. Amontillado de la Concha, que es un vino que solo se exporta al mercado británico, que bueno, siempre han sido los principales clientes. Jerez is famous for its cherry wine, and the most famous brand is Tio Pepe, which means Uncle Pepe, named after one of the founder's uncle. We got an extensive tour of the facilities, including to see all the black oak barrels where the sherry wine is aged. There was a flamenco exhibition going on and these flamenco girls in traditional dresses showed up. Then we walked to another storage room where a lot of famous people had signed different barrels. Paco de Lucia, Steven Spielberg and Ayrton Senna was some of them. There was also the royal casks that belongs to the Spanish royal family. At the end it was time for the tasting where we tried two types of sherry wine. One very dry and one sweet. 
A very nice tour, which took around one and a half hour. Next up, as number six on our list, we go for some food at a great place called Abateria Cruz Vieja. It's located very close to the statue of the famous actor, singer and flamenco dancer Lola Flores. She was born in Jerez and is considered the biggest exporter of Andalusian culture to date. At Abateria Cruz Vieja, we had some great chickpeas with prawns and a tuna salad with potatoes. They had some great reviews and lived up to the expectations. The place was full of locals. And again, very affordable prices, the bill came to 25 euros 50. You don't need a car in Jerez, and all the places shown in this video is walkable. It's getting late and we want to fit in a local flamenco show tonight. The place to go to is called Tabanco El Pasaje. They offer flamenco shows every night at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. To be sure of a good view, make sure you book a table. For 30 euros each, you get to see the show from the first row and you can spend this money towards your food and drinks bill. You can also watch the show for free from the bar area, but it can get very crowded. And the food here was also great, so I would highly recommend it. We tried one of the tostas with cheese and caramelized onion, artichoke marinated in cherry wine and the jamón ibérico. like and subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of travel videos and see my other videos from Spain and beyond. Jerez is a great place to visit and there are plenty of things to see and do. I would really recommend a visit. In our next video we travel to the coastal city Cadiz, only 30 minutes from Jerez. Keep a lookout for that video. For now, good night from Jerez, have a great day wherever you are, bye now.